What's up, Flex Magazine Online? This is A.K.A. Kyle L. Green. Here training at um, Stephen Bev's out here in Syosset, Long Island. Powerhouse gym. And today we're going to do back. So if you're ready, let's train. Okay, we're going to start out um, with my warm-up here. I'm going to do some pull-ups and some dips. Just to get to, this is just to get some blood in the muscles, get my body warmed up, and um, bring my mind online, start making connections, and uh, make it happen. Okay, once we got blood kind of heart rate up and blood circulating everywhere, um, started with uh, some um, upright rows, bent over laterals, reverse pec deck. This is largely to um, address the muscles of my upper back, um, concentrating on contracting them and stretching them and thinking about... Um, better ways to do an effective rear door bicep, rear lat spread, and so on. Standing pullovers with um, pull downs to the front. Um, basically, I'm just concentrating on training my back, contracting my lats, my lats and my traps, um, and try to make that mind and muscle connection or begin that mental inventory work that allows me to start walking down um, my back from my traps um, through the midpoint of my spine 
down to just the top of my spinal erector. T-bar rows. Um, I I feel like you know addressing my back in order to try to you know shape my back the way I the way I kind of feel it necessary to do. Um, it's kind of led me to uh, kind of have my training routine look as it does today. I'm going by feel and. Um, um, rather than have to lift the house or lift the entire gym um, to get the development that I'm looking for, um, I figure it probably is better to be led by feel and try to make some really sharp connections with the muscles that I'm trying to train. Um, so in this training segment today, where I did uh, T-bar rows, they kind of fell right where I felt it necessary um, while training today with the feedback that I was getting from my body while wow. training. Over here we're doing uh, seated cable rows, seated pulley rows. Um, if you notice, I switch up to hand position. I do actually three to four sets with a, with a wider grip parallel. The hands like, uh, I guess, what, what do they call that? Dimmy, dimmy grip. Um, I'm using that to try to sit the contraction in my in my lats, and at the same time, my rear. I'm thinking I'm consciously thinking about my rear delts and my traps. Um, I'm able to control the bar a little bit better here, and think more about the contraction um, than when I'm just doing bent over barbell rows. So. Um, today, rather than do bent over barbell rows, uh, I tried to use a variation of another exercise, which for me allowed me to hit the same muscle groups that are working while doing a bent over row and allowed me to concentrate a little bit more on the contraction. Um, uh, almost in an attempt to isolate my lats and my, my, my middle trap and rear delt more. Um, and when I'm using a closer grip, I'm able to contract my lats and the, the muscles in my back, the longitudinal muscles in my back that are closer to the center. Um, some people will say it's like thickness. Uh, it's a, thick, a thickening movement um, versus a, you know, a movement for width. Uh, traditionally, I you know, I thought, I think like a lot of people that I'm supposed to just contract my lats, but while doing the um, one-arm dumbbell rows, um, you know, your traps and your rear delts, you know, they really can work a lot. They do work a lot. And um, I'm doing this movement primarily to address the, the need for development in those areas on my physique. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to lift the whole gym, just concentrating on trying to, you know, um, develop the muscles that I, uh, you know, I'm targeting today. Um, but I do think when doing my deadlifts, I do think about my, my spinal erectors. I am thinking about my lats. I am even thinking about my traps and my, my rear delts. In fact, my whole back, I feel alive and able to contract very intensely with each rep deadlift. Um, because that's so, I find it fitting to put it at the end of my training session. So it kind of like allows me to, while doing each rep, mentally walk through um, and revisit every muscle that I've trained um, while doing the exercises that uh, we've chosen to do today. Well, the Olympia is eight weeks out. Um, I'm 
feeling very good. Um, I enjoy my training, enjoy my uh, my nutrition. Shout out to George Farah, uh, Muscle Meds, and of course my family here at Flex Magazine. Um, Want to thank Steve Weinberger and Beth Francis Jim for allowing us to come and visit video. And um, to the fans and friends at home, keep watching and stay tuned.